My name is Diana Mutz, and I'm a professor here at the Annenberg School, as well as in the Department of Political Science in the School of Arts and Sciences. And my main research area is political communication, uh, and that's why um, having a foot in both political science and communication makes a lot of sense for the work that I do. I just completed a book that is uh, entitled In Your Face Politics that is about the impact on the American public of incivility in political discourse. And this book draws on laboratory experiments as well as uh, analyses of the content of many political programs uh, to evaluate what the pluses and minuses are of having uncivil political discourse be so prominently displayed on television these days. I have another book uh, called The Obama Obama effect, and the interesting uh, phenomenon that this book attempts to explain is why it is that whites' racial attitudes became more positive toward African Americans during the uh, 2008 Obama campaign. A lot of it had to do with all of the counter stereotypical images of African American males. Uh, that we saw on television during the campaign. Although there tends to be a lot of coverage that emphasizes crime or uh, single parent families and, and negative kinds of stereotypes, uh, Obama and his family really countered that stereotype and they had the greatest effect in improving whites' attitudes toward blacks, particularly among conservatives. Increasingly right now, the projects I'm working on and that many of my grad students are interested in involve uh, international politics. Now, the world is smaller in many ways, and we do have concrete images in our heads of what things are like. And these images have a lot to do with media coverage. Students uh, that I'm working with at the moment were interested in plotting global images of distance. And meaning that we look at how in television coverage as well as in uh, print coverage or online coverage, people um, organize the world in their heads. Right now, I'm particularly interested in attitudes toward globalization, uh, attitudes toward things like trade uh, among different countries as well as things like outsourcing. And one of the reasons I think this is important is because uh, it is inevitable at this point that we have a global economy that we are interdependent uh, with one another. What happens someplace else is going to influence us. Uh, the question is, you know, how do we form attitudes about people and places that are so far away? And I think mass communication has a huge amount to do with that.